me show you guys why this is single handedly one of the most important nodes in NADEN. And it's something all you guys should be using if you're building systems in NADEN. What this node is, if you go to data transformation and you click on the edit field set node. The first example of why this node is so powerful, I'm going to show you a situation in my RAG data pipeline. So basically, what happens here is my Google Drive folder watches for either a new file or an updated file. We then grab the file ID, download the file, and then we determine what kind of file it actually is. Once it goes down the path of whatever file it is, we then extract the text from it. But the reason this node is so powerful and is crucial for this system is all these nodes might output a different field. But if we skip over this for a second, this generate hash node is expecting a single input variable called json.txt. This one might output json.content. This one might output json.txt. This one might output json.output. So if this receives anything other than json.txt, the system breaks. So without this node, and I'll show you what it does in a second, I would have to have a generate hash for each one of these routes. It just gets messy. So an example on why we use this node, if we click into it, I created a new variable called text. And this input here can receive either json.content, json.data, I can add another one, json.item, json.golions, you get the idea. So it can receive pretty much any output variable from any of these and turn it into json.txt, which guarantees that this generate hash receives a json.txt input. Here's another use case in the same workflow where I use it again, but this time a little different. So once that text goes through processing, we then run it through a script that chunks the document or chunks the text. Chunking is exactly what it sounds like. You take a document and you chunk it up. We then feed each individual chunk into an LM that then gives a one sentence summary on what the chunk is about. And when we're trying to add those chunks into our super base vector store or knowledge base, we don't want to just add the chunk description or the chunk that we created by itself, the reason we created the chunk description is so our AI agent that would have access to our super base vector stores, its knowledge base, not only has the chunk, but it has a description on what each chunk is about. So it just makes our RAG agent even smarter and better at retrieval. Let me show you where this node comes into play. So with this simple JSON expression right here, the JSON.message.content, which is the output from this LM, which is the chunk description, and just a simple dash, and then the item.json.txt, which is the actual chunk, it combines them into an output field called content that we input into our super base vector store to become embedded and vectorized. Those are just two simple use cases in the same workflow. I mean, this node can do almost anything. If you want to learn more about this stuff, check out my free school community called the AI Growth Lab.